In this video, we're going to learn about lambda functions in Python. So lambda functions are a special type of small anonymous function. We can define a lambda function like this, lambda and then x colon x plus one. So here, x is a parameter of this function and x plus one is an expression. The result of x plus one is going to be the return value of this function. Lambda functions are defined with a single expression. Lambda functions can't contain statements. So for example, we can't use something like an if statement. We also can't use annotations with lambda functions. Now, lambda functions are anonymous. That means they don't actually have a name. We could optionally assign this lambda function to a variable to effectively give it that name. So for example, we could have here add one is equal to this function. This here would be equivalent to def add one, the parameter x, and then return x plus one. So we could test out our lambda function. Here, we could call print and we could output the return value of calling add one with let's say five. If we save the program and run it, we'll get six as output. So here the argument five was assigned to the parameter x and then x plus one resulted in six and that's the return value of the function which we output here. Now lambda functions don't have to have any parameters we could, for example, have no parameter x here, and the function could just return 10. Then, if we call add one, we wouldn't supply an argument. If we save the program now and run it, we'll get the return value 10. We can also have multiple parameters if we separate them with commas. So for example, we could have here x comma y, and we'll have x times y, and maybe now let's call this function multiply. So we'll have multiply here and we'll call multiply and we'll supply it 10 and five as arguments. If we save the program and run it, we'll get 50. Now lambda functions don't have to have a name. So for example, we could actually just copy this code here. And what we'll do is surround it with brackets and then we can call this function that we've defined right here. We could have 10 and five as the arguments to this function. And if we save the program and try it out, we'll again get 50. So lambda functions can be useful in situations where we don't need to have a name for a simple function that we only intend on using in that one place in our code. So for example, this can come up when using the map function. So if we have a list of numbers, like numbers is equal to one, two, three, four, and we have a function, let's call it double. We'll have def double x, and this function is going to return x times two. We can use the map function to double each number in this list. We could have here map and then double numbers. What this function will do is apply the double function to each number in this list. So double is going to be called with one, and then with two, and then with three, and then with four. And the map function is going to return a map object containing the return values of those function calls. So we could store the double numbers in a variable doubled, and then here we could output doubled. What we'll do is convert doubled to a list using list. So we'll have list doubled. So map returns a map object. We're going to convert it to a list using list. So if we save the program and try it out, we'll get these doubled numbers here, two, four, six, and eight. What we could do is just use a Lambda function here instead. So instead of defining and using double here, we could just have Lambda and then X colon x times two. So here, if we save the program and try it out, we'll get the same result. But we didn't need to define a function with a name. 
we could just use a lambda function right here as an argument to the map function. So that's an example use case of lambda functions. So this is how we can use lambda functions in Python. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers.